Hello, I'm Pat Hill from the Casanova Public Library with our final installment of our winter craft series, Hookah at Home. Today I'll be showing you how to make a pretty glass ornament that can be placed in your window. You'll be using the supplies from your take-home kit, which includes a glass ornament, several crayons that are different colors, a crayon sharpener to make shavings, a small piece of ribbon that will serve as a hanger, a white piece of paper that will act as a workspace and also as a funnel and allow you to funnel the shavings into the ornament. So things that are not in your kit and that you will need from home include a hair dryer, and this will be used to melt the crayon shavings inside of the glass bulb. Also, a towel, this one is a dish towel, and this will protect your hand from the heat of the hair dryer while you are uh, melting the shavings. And this is optional. This is a vegetable peeler, and this will give you a different type of crayon shaving than the crayon sharpener. So if you have one, you can experiment and see uh, which you like the best, or maybe a combination of the two. The first important step is to choose your colors. You might want to use all reds or a combination of red and pink or blues and green, but whatever colors you choose, the next step would be to remove the paper wrapper from the crayon. I've chosen a variety of blues, some purples, and a little bit of white to place into my ornament. I think you're going to find that you need quite a few shavings to make your ornament. But if you find that you have excess, not to worry, you can simply shake it out. I was having trouble getting the paper off of the crayon. Then I used the vegetable peeler, I scraped down one side, and then the paper peeled off. Now I'm using the crayon sharpener to make my shavings. I'm also gonna use the potato peeler. That seems to be working quite well. Now I'm ready to put my shavings into the ornament, but first I need to remove the top carefully. And then I'm going to uh, fold my paper into a funnel shape. This is a little bit tricky. But you just wanna make sure that you can put the end inside of the bulb. And mine's a little, oh, I think it's gonna work. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Haha, <laughs> success. Okay, I think that's it. There we go. So now I'm ready to melt the shavings with my hair dryer, but first, remember to put the top back on. There we go. Oh, not quite. There we go. Put your hair dryer on the high setting. And remember to put a towel so that you won't burn yourself with the heat. And then you're ready to go. At first, I tried melting the crayon shavings while holding and rotating the ornament in the dish towel like this. But I found it didn't work well. So I've been experimenting and I've come up with a technique that I think works pretty well. So you can try this at home. So I'm holding the bulb by the top and then I'm placing the heat, the hair dryer, underneath where the shavings are. And then I'm going to rotate this slowly around. And as I do that, the shavings are shifting so that eventually the entire ornament will be covered. Two things to remember. One, you don't want to keep the heat on one place for too long or the colors may begin to run. And the other thing is, away from the ornament. If you get too close and it gets too hot, again, the colors will go on. So here's an example of one of my earliest uh, experiments. This was really beautiful. It had lots of 
pretty blue colors. And then all of a sudden it got overheated and all of the colors started to run. So I'm attaching my ribbon to form my hanger. And I must say that I am very excited with the end result of this project. I think it's beautiful. And I was thinking that this would be a really wonderful project to do with children. I think they would really enjoy uh, making the crayons into shavings and it's certainly a great use of leftover crayon, crayons. Uh, every household who has children seem to have a lot of those. So, um, I mean, they would definitely need assistance with a hairdryer piece, but uh, I just think it's a wonderful craft. I hope you've enjoyed making these beautiful sun catcher ornaments. Thank you so much for participating in our winter craft series.